I'm going to show you how I made this Raspberry Pi based open source voice assistant. Let's get started. As always there will be a detailed parts list in the description. But for now start by taking a Raspberry Pi and an 8GB or more microSD card. Plug it into your PC and we can start uploading an operating system. Go to mycroft.ai and click on Get Mycroft. Now scroll down and click on Get Pycroft. Here on the GitHub page, just click on Code and download the zip file. Once that's done, go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads. Now download the imager for whatever operating system you're using. As you can see, I have Windows. This is totally optional, but since I like to keep things organized, I made a Raspberry OS folder and put the image and imager inside it. Double click on the imager and the setup screen like this will open. Just click install and let it install the software. It shouldn't take very long. When it's done, just click finish and the imager will open automatically. Click on choose OS and scroll down. Click on custom and locate the Mycroft zip file. Select the file and click on open. Now just click on choose SD, select the SD you want to format and click format. As the software warrants, everything will be gone from the SD card. So if there's anything important on there, just copy it to your PC before doing this. Also, don't worry if this takes a while, what you're seeing is 50 times faster than how long it actually took. When it's done, you can remove the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry. Also connect a monitor via mini HDMI a USB microphone, a speaker via the audio jack, a keyboard via USB, and a 3 amp 5 volt USB type C power supply. First you'll see a bunch of text scrolling across the screen, but eventually it should stop on this screen. Press Y to continue, then press 1 or 2 depending on your Wi-Fi connection and enter your Wi-Fi SSID or name. Now depending on what you selected, this might not come up at all, but if you do have a password, enter it and don't worry if you don't see what you're typing. When you're connected to the internet, press 1 for analog audio. You can now adjust the volume. 7 is fine for me, so I just pressed D. Now select your type of USB microphone and press enter. This might take a while, but just let it load. When it's finished, you'll see this message. So just say something and wait for it to stop recording. Then listen for a replay of your recording. If everything works, just press 1. Press 1 again. Press 1 again. Press N. Press Enter. And finally, press enter again. You'll have to give it a moment, but when it's done, you should hear and see a code. Remember this code and go to mycroft.ai again. Click on pair device and login. Or if you don't have an account, you can create one. Here you can enter the code from before. Then name your voice assistant.
choose its placement and choose its location. Lastly, choose a voice and a wake word. Now you can just scroll down and press next. If you enter the code correctly, Minecraft should say it's ready for use. You can now unplug the screen and keyboard and use it as a normal voice assistant. Hey Minecraft, what is a butterfly? Butterfly, butterflies are insects in the Macroalpidoptera and played with no cherry from the order Lepidoptera. Mycroft, how late is it? The current time is 20 to 17, 28 Central European Summer Time, Wednesday, 22nd July 2020. Tell me a joke. Chuck Norris is big and type 140 words per minute. I don't get that. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, like and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it.